Food is central to Ghanaian life, just like in every culture, regardless of where you may find yourself. Chop bars are dotted across Ghana and also in major cities abroad. From Fufu to Banku and Garifuto, everyone has a favorite dish and every region has its own specialties. The main dishes in Accra include kinke with hot pepper and fried fish, red red or yokegari, and tatali. It is said that if an Ashanti man does not eat fufu, then he has not eaten that day. Fufu with light soup and smoked fish or granite soup, as well as boiled plantain with contumery, spice with momone, dried fish with red oil, egg and kobe are all staples of the Ashantis. <laughs> The best, they say, comes from the West, and their main dishes are cheke, served with avocado, a cheke napaya. If you happen to be in the central region, then you dream of tasting the best of Fanti Dokono or Exo with Fanti Fanti. The Volta region's dishes include akole with okra soup, abolo with shrimps and one man thousand, banku with okra stew or pepper, red red and fried plantain. Volta tilapia is a specialty and can be found both by the roadside and in the riverside hotels along the Volta. Welcome to the food baskets of the country. Yam fufu with contumery or dry okra soup chinkasi is their chief food alongside plantain and coco yam and pisi. Chozafi, also known as tizet, Omuchio with granite or green leaf soup, beans or cow pea with shernut oil and pepper called tubani, cocoa or millet corn porridge eaten with kosi. Beverages include pito, a locally brewed beer made from millet, zomkurum or toasted millet flour in water and fula. The Eastern region is a diverse region and this is reflected in its cuisine. Everything is eaten here from fufu to omutio, but their chief food is a bunubunu with the wow, mekwang and mpotompoto. Food is one of the elements of culture that distinguishes people according to their tribe and descent and so it is not surprising that certain types of food are associated with certain groups of people or tribes in the country. I am in currently in Tamale at a food joint and I was surprised to see someone preparing kenke, ga kenke to be specific. She is a Nodna as a matter of fact and I want to find out from her how she manages to do this. Good morning, Adia. Good morning. Oh, you're yeah, not man. Hi, me yeah, not man. So, how are you able to prepare cake? Gam cake? Yes. Like, we have gam, woman in our house. So, she's the one who show us how to do the cake. So, that's... For how long have you been doing this? We do this 
many long because I can tell you. So many years. Yes. Is the taste the same? Yes, it's the same. Are you sure? Yes. When people eat it, do they come? They enjoy it. And they came and told me that my kinke is nice. Thank you. But you do other types of food as well? Yeah. We have kinke, banku, rice ball, scissors, plain rice, wache, and... And, it, and, 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 and yam, fry yam, mostly we fry yam too. Yeah. So which of these foods do you do better? We do the kinke. The, sure you, the teas, I'm sure the tea zet is your, is your main food too. I'm sure you do that better than this yes, one. Yes, because the green leaves, we do it very nice and people enjoy it. Mm, okay. Have you been eating kinky from this place? Yes, yes. Uh, it, it is very delicious. Um, Any time I came to Tamari here, I do eat kinky here before I left. Um, and today I was just from last year yesterday. And I'm going back to Wulugu. So I decided to take my breakfast here and take off. Yes. But have you ever eaten kinky? in Accra before, prepared by a gun? No, no, I haven't. So this is the only kinke you have ever known? Yes, yes. For you, it is tasty? Mm. You know, t uh, kinke is not an indigenous delicacy of northerners. Yes, yes. So, but w how come you like it so much? <laughs> mm, it's a food that I decided to buy. It. So the first time I take it, uh, I like it. So any time I came, I decided to buy kinke and fish. But have you eaten kinke before apart from this place? No, I've eaten before. Where? At Boku. At Boku? Yes. Still in the north? Yes. But how have you tasted kinke outside, like down south in Accra or Kumasi before? Yes, yes. You have? Yes. So what's the difference from, how different is it, the one in Accra and those that are made here? Those at Accra, they are very nice. Those ones are nicer than here. Mm. Mm. Here we are just managing. Mm, but it's, it's also good. Mm -hmm. So do you agree with people who think that certain types of food are better prepared by certain tribe? Yes, yes it's true. Mm. For instance, the kinky like this, it's better when it's prepared down south than here. Because it's not for the people here, it's for those people there at South. They can prepare better than here. Have you eaten Tuzafi or Wache down South? Yes. How different is it from? Oh, Tuzafi to, to uh, here is better than South. They don't prepare it well. But here is very nice. Wache or Tuzafi is for these people. So they prepare it nicer, better than Accra. So would you buy wache or two from a southerner in Tamale? No. From the person is from South by preparing here. Maybe. But I'll prefer somebody from here. Why? Because somebody who's from here can prepare better than somebody from South. Okay. <laughs> When you talk about food, it's not necessarily about the person or the tribe. So if someone is from an Asante and the person is able to cook wache or cocoa, I think it's also good. And we should not only associate with not yeah, being able to cook that food. Have you ever tasted wache or cocoa or tea that made by an Akan or something? Sure. In Kumasi, there's a place called Bantama. There is a, uh, one woman selling watches 
and the person is an Asante and it's very nice. So I think we shouldn't only associate with Northerners. Asante are able to also do that. Certain food like wache, TZ, uh, cocoa. Somebody says I will never buy such a food from an Akan or a Southerner because the Northerners does it better. What, what's your opinion? That is true because uh, cocoa is a Northern uh, breakfast and then watch it to the not never do it better. Uh, that one, some sadness do it, they also do it well, but as compared to the north, it's the best. Would you buy a pole from a north? No. Why? They can't prepare it. How I like it, because that's my favorite, so I don't think they can prepare it that way. Yeah. Do you agree that the tribe or origin sometimes inform how better or not somebody does it? But this one is my favorite food. So with my favorite food, I don't, I wouldn't go to any other else than my own. Another tribe cannot prepare a play properly? I don't think so. I don't think so. I've tasted my own, so I know. Have you tasted a play from another? Yeah, I've tried it wasn't good, so I wouldn't go again. These days, it is possible to find any food almost everywhere in the country and elsewhere on the continent. For instance, there are Chinese cuisines prepared here in Ghana. Italian pizza is now the order of the day in Ghana. But does it taste the same as when prepared by indigenous chefs? In fact, I confirm with cheese it can only be better enjoyed in the northern region. That that confirmed the fact that certain types of food can only be better prepared by certain tribes in the country. Well, let the debate continue. Catherine Fifoma, Tamale in the northern region for TV3 News.